In this video, we will learn how to use regression to analyze stocks. I'm Abby with NextGen Personal Finance, and we will practice analyzing linear regression models and its R-squared value. What exactly is linear regression? It's a model of a relationship between two variables by fitting a linear equation to the observed data. Many technical analysts use past data from investments to create regression models. A couple of things to zoom in on when looking at linear regressions for stock performances. Looking at the slope of the trend line tells you how quickly a stock has increased or decreased in value when compared to the rest of the market, like using the S&P 500 as a proxy. Another important element of linear regression is the R-squared value, which tells us how well the data is explained by the trend line. This can help analysts estimate the volatility of a stock. If your R-squared value is close to positive or negative one, then you can assume that the data is well explained by the trend line. And if the R-squared value is closer to zero, then fewer data points can be explained by the model. One more thing to keep in mind before we go into our practice problem. While these models can help an investor analyze how the stock has been performing, Remember that past performance does not predict future performance, so there is no guarantee that investments will continue to follow any trends found. Let's try this example. We are provided with a table of Nike's closing prices for 12 consecutive days of trading in 2020. We need to run a linear regression of this data by using a graphing calculator. The first step we can take is to enter the data into the calculator. It may be a little tedious, but I'll show you how to get there. On your calculator, you will want to click Stat. From there, you are brought to a menu and the word Edit should already be highlighted. Go ahead and click Enter to edit your data list. In list one, you are going to enter your X values, which in our case here is just 0 through 11. Then, you can click your right arrow to move over to list two, which is where you will enter your Y values, which in our case are Nike's closing prices. This may take some time, especially if you have a lot of values, so be sure to double check your numbers. Once you have entered the data into your calculator, it's time to let the calculator do its magic. We will now run the linear regression on this data by going back to stat, but this time we will click the right arrow to go to the calc section. We are looking to run a linear regression in y equals ax plus b form. So I will select option four, lin reg ax plus b. Go ahead and click the enter button to bring up the home screen. You will need to set the x values to list one and the y values to list two. So you can click second, then list to assign L1 and L2. Now you can click enter once more to get your results. Here we can answer question B, as our A value is our slope at 1.65 and the B value is our Y intercept at 67.19. Our R squared value is about 0.6. After identifying these key points, let's answer question C to write the equation of the line of regression in y equals ax plus b form. Substituting the values from our results, our linear equation is y equals 1.65x plus 67.19. From there, you can draw your trend line on the graph. Be sure to check out our budget graphing video to learn how to graph a linear equation. Lastly, let's analyze the r squared value. We have an R-squared value of 0.6, which means that about 60% of the data points are explained by this line. We can see that more days are close to the line, like days 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, and 9, but then also some of them are far away, like days 3 and 6. That means that this model is a pretty good indication of the data, but still is not near perfect. So what does this mean? As mentioned earlier, many technical analysts use regression models to see how a company's stock has been performing. If you get an R-squared value that is close to 1, your data can probably be strongly explained by the trend line. However, if you get an R-squared value that is closer to 0, your regression model might not be able to explain the relationship as well. 
let's review how to use regression. You'll first want to enter your data points into your calculator using the STAT button. Then you can run a linear regression by clicking on STAT, CALC, then LIN REG. You will then get some results, like your R squared value. Next, you can set up your equation in Y equals AX plus B form. Lastly, you can graph your linear model onto the data to visualize and have a better understanding of your R squared value. Now it's your turn. Here are linear regression models of three different companies. Based on these results, compare the performance of the three companies by analyzing their slopes and R squared values. Great work on using regression to analyze stocks. Continue on to the practice problems on your worksheet. You got it.